someone asks, what's my Instagram name? X Factor underscore fitness. X F A C T O R underscore F I T N E S S. All right, nobody asked that. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> Uh, someone asked how big are my arms, and this was actually a while ago. I measured my arms, and I actually forgot. I can't even believe I... Let me figure it out. Uh, how big are my arms? Where's the paperwork? According to my measurements that I took about three weeks ago, my biceps are... 17.5 inches. So, that's it. 17.5 inches. Pretty nice bicep. Not 20s, but pretty decent. Decent for a 68 inch guy. Okay, good question right here. Somebody asks, how intensive are my cheat days? Well, you know, it really depends on what I'm doing. Like, when I'm bulking, there's no, well actually when I'm bulking, there's no such thing as a cheat day. I mean, I just eat uh, when I'm cutting. So when I was cutting for my last show back in 2014, so I had contest prep. I prepped for about nine, eight to nine weeks. And my cheat days were very slim to none. I had a coach and he would only allow me cheat meals when they were necessary and when I was, you know, pretty much progressing, you know, so. Cheat meals, uh, I probably had in eight to nine weeks, I probably had about three decent cheat meals. Whoo, that's bad. I didn't even think about that. I never even added it up. I mean, I would do my own cheat on the side, which is why I got third place, because I wasn't following my instruction. But um, yeah, about three cheat meals. And when I did cheat, oh man. Oh man, I had to, all I had was uh, one slice of pizza, which was, it was like a New York slice pizza, so it was real big, and it had a huge calzone. Oh man, after, I mean, carb cycling, like being on zero carb, I was hurt. I felt like my stomach was gonna explode. I was like, sleep and all kinds of stuff. It was just bad, you know? And, and, and that's when I knew, I was like, okay, you don't have to go that hard on your cheat meals. When you, because you're dieting so hard, you can just get like a burger and be good to go, you know. Nowadays, I'm prepping right now actually for my next show, which is in 13 weeks. I'm having a cheat meal. I was having a cheat meal about every Sunday. And that, I'm only gonna do that, I'm only gonna do that for about another three weeks, probably three or four weeks. Uh, and then I switched up and probably only have a cheat meal when it's necessary or when my life calls for it, you know, because sometimes, sometimes you're in a situation where, okay, have a cheat meal and get back on track. And that's just a way to keep sanity. And that's just a way to not let your lifestyle affect your uh, dieting, your contest prep and all kinds of things, but things like that. How intensive are they? Cheat meals aren't beast mode. I mean, I had a, my last cheat meal, my last cheat meal that you guys saw was pretty much a small pizza and some wings. So I didn't overdo it and I actually wasn't even full after I was done. So basically, my cheat meals don't allow me to get full. I don't want to be full and bloated. There's, I mean, there's no reason to get like that. You know, no reason to have a turtle shell. So my cheat meals are pretty concise, pretty small, pretty medium. I would say the medium size, but it's not small and it's not large, not medium size. I've seen some guys cheat hard. I'm talking about 10,000 calories on a cheat day, 8,000 to 10,000 calories. I don't cheat like that. Bodybuilders can do stuff like that because a lot of them are, you know, juiced up. And they can take in that kind of food, but no way, no how. I will not have a cheat meal that is bigger than, larger than 4,000 calories. <laughs> Someone asked what size of my polo shirts. <laughs> That's a weird question. Uh, my polo short shirts are a medium. Uh, they're, they're medium because I mean some of them are largest it just depends on the polo I like to have like the slim fit polos not the classic fit I like the slim fit and usually for me my biceps are pretty much large compared to my body so all my polos stop right here and it makes me look even more beast mode out here so 
a medium is decent and it's not too long. I don't want my shirt to be too long just because I'm big, you know, so. So yeah, I use, I use a medium, pretty much a medium. When I was bulking, oh man, I was almost in them extra larges. I had to get out of there. I was 200, I was like, I hit about 206, 208 pounds. I was, I was damn near fat. Can't go back. Four months ago, somebody asked, will I ever do another 10,000 calorie challenge? Mm, I did. I hope you guys saw it. Uh, I did not get 10,000 calories. <laughs> I failed. Okay, last question. Finish it off. Uh, somebody asked, what engineering did I do in college? So I'm guessing what type of engineering did I do in college? I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree. Took me seven years. I did a lot of transferring. I went to school in North Carolina for two years. I went to school at Virginia Tech for two years. And I went to ODU in Norfolk, Virginia for three years. So I've been to three universities. I went to some community colleges. I, mean, I, did what it took. I did what it took. I did what I had to do and I got it done. I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree, bachelor of science. So did my thing to answer that question, mechanical. Do I like it? Yeah. I mean, well, that wasn't the question. I'm asking my own questions. That's it for the questions, guys. What I want you guys to do is comment below. Ask me some questions down below. Ask me some questions about me, things not related to fitness, whatever you want to ask me, just ask me below, and I'm going to do more of these uh, Q and A's over like some posing, basically. So ask your questions. Don't be shy. And I'll check with you guys in the next video or the next clip. Either one. Deuces.